In this video, we are going to minimize 2x plus y, subject to x plus y is greater than or equal to 25, x is less than or equal to 2y, 10x take away y is greater than or equal to 63, and x is greater than or equal to 0, and y is greater than or equal to 0. Now, because x is greater than or equal to 0, that means we can shade the region we don't want, which is to the left of the y-axis. So we can shade the region we don't want. And because y is greater than or equal to 0, so that's that one. And because y is greater than or equal to 0, we can shade the region we don't want, which is below the x-axis. Okay, so we've got that bit covered. Right, now I've chosen these inequalities this time uh, because they are going to be a little bit tougher to draw on the graph that we have. So we've got x plus y is greater than or equal to 25. This is the first one we're going to work with. Now the problem is, immediately, is that we would usually do when x is 0, y is 25, and y is 0, x is 25. But the problem is that my graph only goes up to 20. Uh, on both axes. So how do I know where to start? Well, essentially we need to find two values, um, so two coordinates, and then join them together. So one way to do that is if I think about the end part of the graph, x is equal to 20. So if I think about x is equal to 20, and then think, right, what would the y value have to be? then y would have to be 5. So I know that 25 is a point... Didn't draw that very well, did I? Let me just try that again. I'll try and get that a little bit closer. Okay, there we are. That'll do. So 25 uh, is a point that is on this line. And likewise, uh, when y is 20, x would be 5. So I know that 5, 20... Is another point that's on this line. So 520 is up here. So I need the line that goes through those two. So let's do that. Like that. And we need to shade the region we don't want. So we could try um, 0, 0. So if we try 0, 0, does that work? Well, we'd have 0 plus 0. Is that greater than or equal to 25? It's quite difficult to write with this. Let's write that in a little bit more clearly. So 0 plus 0, is that greater than or equal to 25? No. Okay, so that means we want above the line. So I'm going to shade the region I don't want. which is this region here. Okay, so we've got that line. Right. So, let's get rid of this bit. And let's focus our attention on the next line. So, let's go for x is less than or equal to 2y. Now, with this one, uh, this is a line that's going to go through the origin, because when x is 0, y will be 0. So I know it's going to go through the origin, so that's good. So now I just need to choose uh, and find another point that's on the line. So if I let x equal to 20, then 20 is equal to 2y, so that means that y would have to be 10. So 20, 10, that point there is also on the line. So I can draw a line that joins those two up, like so. And now I need to choose which uh, region do I want. Do I want above the line or below the line? Okay, well, we're going to choose a point. So I'm going to choose the point, let's try 20, 0. You've got to choose a point that's not on the line. So I'm going to try 20, 0. So is 20 less than or equal to two lots of zero? No. So 20, zero is not in the region that I want. And so I need to shade 
the region I don't want, which is below the line. Okay, so that's that one. Right. Last but not least, we have 10x take away y is greater than or equal to 63. Okay, now, again, um, if uh, y is 0, then x is going to be 6.3. Now, I can just about draw that. Um, just about. It's going to be something like here. Somewhere around there. Now, if you want kind of like more, uh, well, nicer values for that line, then we're going to have to choose some values of x. So we could choose x to be 6, for example. So if x is 6, then we've got 60 take away y uh, is going to be equal to 63. So that means that y... Um, would have to be, uh, well, in this case, minus, <laughs> minus 3. So that doesn't help us, does it? So uh, 6 minus 3 is not on the line, so that's no good. Okay, but uh, that's just telling us in which direction this line is going to be going. Okay, so that's no good. Um, let's try another point, shall we? So let's try uh, x is equal to 7. So uh, then we would have 70 take away y is equal to 63. That's all right. So y is going to be 7. So it actually goes through 7, 7. So 7, 7 is that point there. Okay. And how about uh, when x is equal to 8? So what we would have, we would have 80 take away y is 63 so that means that y would be equal to 17 so 8 17 is also on the line which is there so it's quite a steep line as you can see So something like that, that's, I don't think that was as good. Let me just try that again. So I'm kind of having to, using the program I'm on, I'm having to overlap that line. Okay, something like that. Okay, right. So now we want the region. Um, so if I try 0, 0, well, 0, take away 0, is that greater than equal 63? No, so zero zero is not in the region I want, so I want to shade to the left. Okay, and so we now have our feasible region. So it's looking like the x is greater than equal to zero and y is greater than equal to zero uh, constraints that we had were actually redundant. Um, they didn't add anything in at all. Okay, so let's make a little bit of space. Right, so the next thing is we want to minimize 2x plus y. So in order to do this, really we want to work out the two corners that we can see of our feasible region. So, um, the first one here to the left, I'll go for the left one first. This, um, we can either read off or we can actually find the intersection of x plus y equals 25 and the 10x take away y is equal to 63. Okay, so I'm going to use the um, simultaneous equation solver on my calculator. Plug the values in. 
and we get x is 8, y is 17. So 8, 17 for that point. Okay, that's good. Right, and for the other point, that is the intersection of x plus y is equal to 25. And uh, the line um, x is equal to 2y. So what I'll do is I'll subtract the 2y from both sides. I'll rearrange it into that form. And I'll use my simultaneous equation to solve that again. And I'm getting uh, 50 over 3, 25 over 3. Now, depending on the context of the problem, if the problem is looking for integer solutions, for example, if it was uh, chairs and tables again, as I've mentioned in a previous video, then you can't have 50 over 3 chairs and 25 over 3 tables, for example. So that point there could be discarded uh, almost immediately. Um, and we might have to look at integer values close to the point that is inside the feasible region. But we'll consider that a little bit more when we get on to integer programming. But for now, all I want to do is I'm going to substitute these two points into 2x plus y. So two lots of 8 plus 17. Let's try that one first. So um, what's that just uh, 16 plus 17. So that's 33. Or we've got the other point. So two lots of 50 over 3 plus 25 over 3. So uh, what would we have? So 125 over 3. So 225 over 3 is approximately 41.7. And remember, we're trying to minimize. So this is the minimized value. That's the minimum there. So the minimum is 33 when x is equal to 8 and y is equal to 17. Okay? And so that's how we can minimize this problem.